welcome back to my channel for a, another video. Today I thought I would film for you guys what I put in my husband's stocking this year for Christmas. If you're anything like me, you need a little help in this department because you have scoured the internet and you have looked at lists and none of them you can relate to. Every single list that I've seen has stuff for golfing, which makes me feel like more husbands golf, but my husband has no desire to golf or pick it up as a hobby. There's also like everything is meant for somewhere where it's cold. People are like, oh, put a cute beanie in it or some gloves or hand warmers. We live somewhere where it's like 80 to 90 degrees daily, so I can't relate. My husband does enjoy gaming and he does enjoy working out, but typically if he wants something, he just buys it on the spot or specifically gaming, he buys it digitally. Nobody wants to buy like a hard case game anymore. So I really struggle with coming up with ideas for what to put in his stocking. So hopefully this list helps you guys. This year specifically, we decided we weren't gonna do gifts for each other because we're going on a 15 day vacation to South Korea, Thailand, and Manila. So stay tuned for that on my channel. But we decided to X the gift giving this year, but we are still filling each other's stockings. So this is a little bit more than I would typically spend in his stocking, but hopefully this idea helps you and you get at least one or two ideas. Please let me know in the comments what you guys are buying for your spouses this year. I like to keep a running, running list in my phone of ideas for the future, so I would love to add some of yours to mine. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that I got for his stocking were these t-shirts, and I feel like not a lot of people think about putting clothes in their spouse's stocking. When we think about putting like clothing items in a stocking, we think about putting like underwear or socks. And let's face it, nobody wants that for Christmas or if they do like they want a higher end pair of underwear. But I got on these t-shirts and like I was saying, my husband likes to work out. So these are fitness related. They are from the company called Kind of Fit, Kind of Fat, which my husband like can totally relate to. I got him a couple other shirts like this for his birthday and he absolutely loved them. But this is what they look like. The front says kind of fit, kind of fat. And it looks like a taco, but the taco is made out of a workout plate. And then there's little like bells in there. And then this is the back. It has the same logo. So that is the first t-shirt. And then the second one is this kind of fit, kind of fat one. It is a sour patch one. And it says making gains both ways. And then this is the back, it says Power Patch. And it has little Sour Patch Kids on their little barbell. I think these are super fun. Whenever he wears his ones that I got him for his birthday, he always gets lots of questions on where he got them and it's kind of like a joke factor and like just fun and quirky. So if your husband works out, definitely look into these. They make a huge range of sizes. Rowdy is very picky about like the way his shirt fits. Um, he is not fat by any means at all, but he doesn't like when it hugs like any of his curves. He wants it to hug his arms where like his muscle shows and then he wants his t-shirts to flow out and, and like not hug his curves and these fit great like that. And like I said, they have a huge array of sizes. If your um, spouse, your wife is also into workout t-shirts or working out, they also make really cute prints for women. So. Um, the next thing that I got for his stocking is some energy drinks. These are the Alani Dream Flow Energy. He is addicted to energy drinks. Like, he knows it. He says that it's a bad habit that he has, has to kick, and here I am feeding it. But these are our favorite flavor currently. If you've never tried the Dream Flow, it's basically just like an orange creamsicle. These are really hard to find here on island. We had to order them on Amazon which was a whole fiasco because the case exploded when I got it and I had to get refunded, but I got him two of the Alani New Energy drinks. Moving on with the Alani New Energy drink line, I had never tried the energy sticks before, but I bought him a pack of these to stick in his stocking to try because he hates drinking plain water. As do I, we're always putting something in our water to get us to drink more, whether that's Mio or Crystal Light packets. So I thought these would be fun to try. They're zero sugar, and then they do have 200 milligrams of caffeine in them. Mine aren't in the box because like I said, I ordered the energy drinks and the whole thing exploded, so the box got wet, but I am still gonna stick them in his stocking. They are dry since they are packaged correctly. 
Um, sticking with the kind of fit, kind of fat line, they also make a lot of really fun stickers. And if your spouse is like mine, we both have Nalgene water bottles or Yeti cups that we like to stick fun stickers on that we collect over time. And they have some really, really cute graphic stickers. So this one is a Zelda. Like I said, my husband likes to game, but he also likes to work out. So this one is a kind of fit, kind of fat, and it is uh, Zelda, or not Zelda. This is Link from Zelda. But it has like little meat sausage links, and then his shield is a little like workout plate but I thought this was really fun. I also got him some like food type items and some sugar. You can't like go wrong with putting some snacks or sugary things in your spouse's stocking. Um, I just bought some holiday cocoa kisses. These are some of my favorite kisses. Rowdy also really loves just plain Hershey's Kisses, but a bag of Hershey's Kisses. If you run out of room in the stocking, you can always open them and like sprinkle them in the stocking. I also picked up these true fruit because I thought this was kind of a healthier option to like straight candy. I saw these and I had never seen these on island before, but it's just a dark chocolate coated in, or sorry, a white chocolate coated in dark chocolate. And they're just these little berries. They looked really yummy. I actually want to try them myself, but um, they are going in Rowdy's stocking. I also got him a hot sauce, which I thought would be really, really fun. My husband, I always find him watching the hot ones on Netflix when he is just trying to like kill time or watch something mindless on the couch. That is what I find is on our TV here. And a really fun idea is to get him a hot sauce from the show. Now this one I love specifically, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out of the box, but it is called the Los Calientes Rojo sauce. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that, so my husband's name is Rowdy Joe, and his nickname is Rojo, and so when I saw that they had a hot sauce titled Rojo, I just had to buy it. But these are kind of pricey, so just keep that in mind, but a really, really fun gift, and we are always putting hot sauce on stuff, whether it's breakfast tacos or whatever we made for dinner, hot sauce. Another sugary item that I got was this chocolate bar. It's called Milka Max Oreo Chocolate Bar. I was at Ross and I saw this in the checkout line and I'd never seen it before. It looks yummy and I know that he's gonna absolutely love it because it's Oreo, so I just got this to slip in his stocking. Moving on, I feel like men don't ever do anything with their skincare, and my husband is never going to have like a five-step skincare routine, but I still wanted to get him something, and he does really love to use like face washes, whatever I have in the shower he likes to use, but he does like a more abrasive face wash. He doesn't like the CeraVe that everyone recommends as like the number one dermatologist face wash. He hates it. He says it doesn't make his skin feel clean. He likes something that has like a scrub or a, um, whatever the acne fighting like acid is ingredients is, he'll always buy those. But I saw this when I was at Ross and I've seen this at the NEX here on base before, but this is the Jack Black Face Buff Energizing Scrub with vitamin C and mint. And I bought this because even I would like to use it. It smells really pepperminty and it's supposed to be a scrub, so I assume that it's like um, a thicker texture or like more abrasive texture. And it just smells like super refreshing. Probably would be great to like wash your face in the morning to wake you up, but just a little bit more manly than just like a plain girly face wash that he would normally use in the shower. That's mine. So I also got him a couple of fun games. Um, for us to play together. My husband watches on TikTok. I want to say it's like games for two or something like that. It's this couple who always like show board games that they play together and all of them are made for two people. And they have some really fun ones that are like small enough to fit in a stocking. And this one specifically I had seen on there before. Rowdy always is sharing TikToks to me. So I saw him share it to me at one point in time and I just put it in my little data bank. But this one is called Tinder Blocks. And you basically just like draw cards and use the little tweezers to like build a fire. And you keep building it to get taller and taller. Kind of like Jenga in a sense is what I'm picking up. But it's just like a quick game, but it's really fun. It would be fun to play together. And then the last game that I got was called Flux. Now this is one that I just stumbled upon on Amazon, but it had really, really good reviews. 
and you can play with anywhere from two to six players and then the games last roughly it says five to 30 minutes a piece so it's just like a quick card game and it's just like a card game with ever-changing rules i don't really know exactly how to play but it just looked fun so definitely look into like little games you can play together and like create a bonding experience but also like is not just going to end up in a junk drawer but that is everything that I got for Rowdy Stocking. Let me know what you guys think of my ideas. And like I said, let me know what you guys are putting in your significant other stocking because I need more ideas. So stay tuned. I am going to also film a what I got for my son for Christmas. He is 18 months old here at the end of the month. So if your child is in that age range, stay tuned for that video. And I will see you guys very soon with another one. Bye, guys. Thank you.